Hi Trader, this video is part of the Fibonacci series. In part 12, we discussed Fibonacci confluence and in this video, we want to give a few examples of live charts where we use the fibs and confluence points. First of all though, be aware that trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered high risk and may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. And by continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. Be aware that we have 14 free webinars in our trading festival of webinars in Forex. Write an email to info at elitecurrency.com to join the trading festival. So let's take a look at some examples. This is the week of the 21st of August today. So basically I was looking at the market here. We're going to take a look at examples from Monday, I think the 17th indeed to Friday the 21st. And uh, you can actually see me discuss these live things, these live setups uh, in the Admiral Marcus, uh, Admiral Marcus webinars, in fact. And I'll show you the YouTube channel in just a second so you can actually look at those webinars. What I was saying at that time was using FIBS as a confluence. Basically, especially the webinar on the 22nd of August, I was looking at price going back to the 50 or the 61.8 FIB of this swing high, swing low. And that's because it had momentum, it was a bullish thrust. And I was expecting at least an ABC follow through or maybe a one, two, three follow through and uh, from that 50, 61.8 zone. Price at that time on the Tuesday, the 22nd of August was here. But at that point, I was not expecting a bounce because price was not at a FIB. It was in between the 38.2 and the 50 FIB. That's why I was telling traders to wait for a small, what is it, maybe 30 pip dip before going 30, 40 here before taking a look at potential upside because that's a bouncing spot. That's where we can expect some follow through back to the upside. And another confluence of that is actually when we zoom into the hourly chart, you will see the price is indeed correcting also, not only to the Fibonacci retracement level, but the same thing actually with the target. If you put the Fib on the very first swing high here, the very first retracement swing, you can see that there are targets lining up Minus 272 target with the 50, and the minus 61.8 target with the 61.8 FIB. Now the same was valid for the pound dollar this week. We had a good thrust during news event, as you can see here, and look at that price going back to a FIB. And if we then zoom into the hourly chart, you can see that if we start fibbing the very first correction right here, and I'll make that a different color, we'll have again confluence between those targets and retracement. All right, so you can see. Boom, minus 68, right? 61.8 minus 272 target, 61.8 target, and the 78.6 FIB. Sometimes the market is not precise. Sometimes it does miss it by a few pips here, four or five pips, which of course is nothing on an hourly chart, but could mean that uh, you need to take it a bit higher because if you're waiting for exactly 156, right, and it goes to 156.05, you might need to be a bit flexible and take it higher because the bounce has already happened. But in any case, you can see the power of combining the retracements and the targets in general. And it's just a very, very good tool. And you can see the market is accelerating now even more. And anyone who took a FIB bounce there uh, is already up a lot of pips. If you stay in that trade, you can take profit too. Depends if you want to aim for the target here. If you're aiming for the minus 272 target, obviously that is the main target. If you're taking FIBs here, then it's good to hold to the target, the minus 272 or minus 8. In any case, the minus 272 target we're talking about almost 300 pips. So it's a massive rally that occurs at those Fibonacci levels. And that's why it was such a you know useful tool break of this trend line when trading. Same thing was really valid for the Euro Yen. Same, same kind of scenario here. Retracement Fib, 50 Fib bounce. I actually used this Fib at the time. And um, basically 50 Fib bounce. And if you put a Fib yet again on this swing high, swing low, I think you're getting the point now. Top basically lining up with the retracement. So that is why, in my opinion, this is such a useful and valuable way of trading, matching up the targets with the retracements. Of course, sometimes you get breakouts and you don't get a deep, let's say a three wave correction and you don't get the, the move to the target. But if you do, it's a very, very useful uh, tactic in trading the Forex market. And it's just great bouncing spots. And as you can see, once you get that turning spot back into the direction of the trend, there could be a lot of pips available.
If you're interested in seeing that live webinar on Tuesday, take a look at Admiral Markets YouTube channel. You'll find the webinar there. Go to playlist and go to uh, live webinars. You'll see me talking on that, about that in live and not in retrospect like now, but it was really done. And also, of course, check out our Elite Currency YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Don't forget the great free webinars that we're having with a range of topics from range bars up to Aikenashi and, and Fibonacci. So make sure to join. Wish you happy trading. Cheers.